Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the LG Loud R, also known as the FH6 Party Bluetooth Speaker System. Now this is without a doubt the best party speaker that you're gonna get for under 300 bucks, period. No discussion. Now I know what y'all saying. Didn't you just say that last week about the Sony XB7s? And the answer is yes. Up until today, the Sony XB7 was the best party Bluetooth speaker for under 300 bucks, but now we got a new champ in town. Now, just like anything else in the tech game, there's always gonna be something better coming out, and this one is better. Now, let me give y'all a quick backstory behind this. Last week, I did a review on the Sony XB7s, and those speakers blew my mind. The build quality, the LED lights, you got party mode, the app, the remote control, you can pair two of them up together. The sound is amazing. You got the extra bass feature. I was completely satisfied. Two days after I did that video, I got an invite to this cocktail party at the Time Hotel. When I show up, the party was sponsored by LG. So once you walk inside, they had all of these 100 inch curved screen TVs. It was real nice. So I go to the bar and they had two of these speakers behind the bar. And let me tell you, the sound from these speakers was incredible. So I asked the bartender, what's the name of those speakers? He said it's the LG FH6. So I go to LG's website and the price was 360 bucks. So then I did what I do best. I went to Amazon and I found it for 288 bucks. Now don't do what I did. All right, I didn't do any research and I didn't realize that the LG FH6 and the LG Loud R are both the same speaker. Now, if you go to Amazon, and I'll throw the link up in the description, the FH6 is gonna run you 288 bucks. The Loud R, which is the same exact speaker, is 255 bucks. Now, trust me when I tell you. Now, you don't have to trust me on everything. Now, a lot of y'all trusted me with those $20 LED lights. I got tagged in a thousand pictures on Instagram. This is another one of those products that I want y'all to trust me on. If you can get this speaker right now for 255 bucks, this is a major win. This is the best party Bluetooth speaker that you're gonna get for under 300 bucks. Now keep in mind, this is not a portable Bluetooth speaker. It has to be plugged in, so you're gonna wanna use this in your house. Now let me tell you why the LG FH6 is killing the Sony XB7. Three reasons. Number one, the price. Now I don't know if it's because of my video, but if you go to Amazon right now, the Sony XB7s, they done jacked up the price. I hit the blue and the black version, they charging 320 bucks, and the red one, the same red one that I reviewed last week that I paid 250 bucks for, is now 350 bucks. So the FH6 for 255 bucks, that's an automatic win. Number two, the speaker's bigger. Now bigger doesn't always mean better, but you gotta remember, we're talking about party speakers. When you're having a party, you want two big party speakers. Nobody wanna have a party with two little tiny speakers. That's whack. So you want two big giant speakers. This speaker is much bigger. And the last reason, the features. The LG FH6 has so many features. I don't even know if I could cover them all in this video. It might take too long. My advice would be go to LG's website and read the features. Now I'll go through as many as I can. This speaker has so many features, it's unbelievable. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it looks like. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is the size of this box. Now, if you thought the Sony XB7 was big, this one is even bigger and even heavier. So keep that in mind. All right, so you got 600 watts of total power. That's a go. Now, check out some of these features. You got Karaoke Star. This is a fully functional karaoke machine. So what that means is you can suppress the vocal frequencies of a song to turn any track into a karaoke track then change the key of the vocals to better suit the range of the singer to help anyone sound like a star. Microphone not included. Now you got DJ Pro. Be your own DJ at home. Entertain your friends by mixing your own music with easy to use tools and professional quality effects. Now I've been playing around with this for a minute. This is so dope. You see this knob on the top? This kind of acts as a turntable. You can scratch just like a DJ. You can press these buttons right here, add sound effects, we're gonna go through it, it's crazy. Now you got multi jukebox. 
So that means you can play music wirelessly from your phone, your tablet, your computer, whatever you got. You also have uh, input jacks on the back for non-Bluetooth devices, and you also have USB in. So you can put in a USB flash drive and, and store your music right to it. Now you got sample creator. Now this is one of those features that's perfect for trolling. If you're having your party, you activate sample creator, you can add your own vocals, your own music, your own sound effects. Now, shout out to my daughter. She got me hooked on that Versace song. You know, Versace, Versace, Versace. So I've been saying that all day long. If I want to, I can record that. Now, keep in mind, you got an app that works with this speaker. I can record that right into the app. And in the middle of while I'm playing music, I can just hit the button and it'll be my voice sampling into the song. That's dope. Now, you got auto music play. So auto music play would be if you have your playlist and you walk away from your phone, you know how one song goes off and the next song comes on? Now when you activate auto music play, it's gonna merge them together, it's gonna fade them in and out, it's gonna sound like a real DJ is DJing. That's pretty hot. Now of course you can wirelessly pair two of these together. We got two of them on deck, so we're gonna see how they sound. Now that's not even all of the features. You got an FM radio, you have an on-screen display, and you got some more stuff that we'll get into. Now I'm gonna take this out of the box, set it up, and we'll see what it looks like. No need for me to do that on camera. Y'all don't gotta see me struggling. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now this is what you get inside the box. Here's the speaker. You get your warranty card, usual books and shit. This is your FM antenna. So we're gonna plug this into the back. You get a remote control and some batteries. Now this is a fully functional remote control. We'll go over some of the features in a second. Now this speaker is giant, okay? This is much bigger than the Sony. I'll put them side by side in a second. Now this speaker automatically orientates itself horizontally or vertically. So when you got it like this, horizontally, if you want, you can stand it up vertically and it'll reorientate the sound. Now, oh, this is heavy, 40 pounds. On the front, you got two mic inputs. All right, so now if you're using this as a karaoke machine, you can sing some duets Y'all know I'm gonna be going crazy. Two mic inputs. Get your power on and off. There's your function button. That's how you're gonna cycle between Bluetooth, auxiliary, FM radio, and USB. Big plus and minus, volume up and down, skip and reverse tracks, and play and pause. Now, let's, you got lights, lights behind these speakers and you got your white LED light in the middle. On the bottom, you got four rubber stoppers. All right, so it's gonna keep it in place. And you got the same thing, if you wanna stand this up vertically, you got five rubber stoppers. Now these are also handles, okay? So if you wanna carry this around, you can use these as handles. Ah. <laughs> All right, here it goes, here goes the handles. You see, this is actually a handle. All right, so you got, let me see, what's, oh. All right, two handles, the handles on the top. All right, so you got two handles. What else? Let's go through the back real quick. Oh, matter of fact, all right. <laughs> oh, this thing is mad big, giggity. All right, on the top, now this is that DJ wheel I was telling you about. You can also use this to cycle through functions, but this is also DJ wheel. You can scratch your music. There's your Bluetooth button. Okay, so you got your USB record. So when you got your USB stick plugged into the USB out right here, wireless link. This is how you're gonna pair up more than one speaker together. You got your mic volume up and down, okay? You got your key changer for when you're doing karaoke, change the, the key notes, uh, the key pitches. You got your voice canceller. Now voice canceller is, say you're playing your favorite rap song, your favorite reggae song, your favorite rock and roll song. You hit that button and it's gonna cancel out the vocals and it'll kind of be just like the instrumental. Now it's not gonna sound perfect, but it's gonna sound good enough to do some karaoke. Now there's your user EQ. All right, so you do have a custom EQ and it works with this display. So when you hit EQ, you can change the highs, the mids, and the lows. Now you also have bass blast, just like Sony with the extra bass button, you got an extra bass button. Now you got your DJ effects. I'll go through those, they sound crazy. You got lighting, just like the Sony, you got a bunch of different light patterns that's preset and you can also make your own. This is your DJ Pro button, so you can add drums, sound effects, all kind of crazy stuff. And this is, um, can I, oh, okay in search for when you got your USB connected. Whew, it's a workout trying to hold this up. Now let's see on the back. 
I know. On the back, let's see. Okay. Now, here's where you plug in your FM antenna, and there's your auxiliary right and left. All right, so you can pair this up to a different speaker. It doesn't have to be LG. But if you got another LG, then pair this up wirelessly. All right, so I'm going to plug this in real quick, and I'll show you how the lights look, and then we're going to do the most important part, the sound test. All right, so I dimmed the lights a little bit. Now I'm going to power this on so we can check it out. Now here's your remote control. No need to go through all of the features. Everything that you can control from the speaker, you can control from the remote control and from the app. All right, so let's hit the power button. You got the bright LED in the middle, and you got your colors in the speaker. Now let me show y'all the display. Can y'all can see that at the top? You see, you got a fully functional display. Let me, um, <laughs> I think I made it worse. All right, there it goes. That looks a little bit better. All right, so let's cycle through the functions. You got LG TV. Now, like I said, go to LG's website and look at all of the features. I can't remember everything off the top of my head, but if you got an LG TV, you can use Chromecast, and you can easily pair this up to your LG TV, and your LG TV remote control will work on this. All right, you got your FM radio, USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. Okay, now let's dim the lights so you can see how this looks in the dark. Now before we play the music, let me show y'all my favorite feature, the DJ effects. Remember that wheel at the top? All you have to do is rotate it and you get that scratching sound. So you can do your own scratching. While the music is playing, you could do the same thing. I just want y'all to hear it first. Now check out the buttons. Mind blown. My party's getting ready to be so lit. All right. All right. Now, let me dim the lights. Matter of fact, real quick, I know this video is long, but this thing got so many so many features. Man, I can't even go through them all. Let me open the app up. Now, here's the app. Now, you see it connects to the app immediately. Now, from the app, you can control all of the features too. You got your sample creator, your multi jukebox, DJ mode, lighting, karaoke, and setting. All right, so let's go to lighting real quick. Let me dim the lights. And I'll show you some of the different lighting patterns. All right, so you got, this is rhythm. That'll play with the music. You got party. You got firecracker. You got space. This one is water. You got forest. This one is city glow. And each one has a corresponding picture. Then you also have my style. Now for my style, you can create your own effects. All right, so I'll just put it on like, say I want blue. I can put it on blue and I can also make it go fast, moderate, or slow. Now you can also turn, turn off the breathing. So it'd be more of a flash and you can turn them off. All right, so let's put it back on City Glow. Matter of fact, we'll put it on Rhythm and we'll play some music. All right, one more thing I forgot to mention. Like I said, this thing has so many features, I'm trying to cover them all. Here's me adding my own sample. Let's go. Now that's my actual voice and that's my usual phrase that I use when I wanna turn up the party. Let's go. So I could drop that in the middle of a song. Now you can also hit EQ. So you got your standard rock, pop, jazz, classic. You got bass blast and you got user EQ. Now I normally like to put maximum bass and maximum treble, minimum mids. <laughs> All right, so now let's take it to the music. One more thing I gotta mention. Now I've been using this speaker for the last couple of hours and the sound is ridiculous. But when I test speakers on YouTube, I can't just play any song that I want because YouTube has copyright laws. 
So therefore, I'm going to use some songs from my upcoming mixtape. Now, a lot of people keep asking me, what song is that? These songs are going to be available when I finish the mixtape. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind, these songs that I'm playing right now, I like to use the same songs over and over. So this way you can hit them on this video. And if you want to compare the sound to the Sony XB7, the Diamond Box, the Rave Box, the Monster Blaster, they're all going to have the same song recorded at the same levels. Now, keep this in mind. These songs haven't been digitally mastered and all of that, so they're a little bit lower. Like I said, I've been using this for the last couple of hours, playing high quality music from Amazon and Google Play. It sounds even louder and even better. So if you like how this sounds now, imagine when you play your favorite artist, it's gonna sound 10 times better. All right, let's go. Okay, so the volume is set at 14. It goes all the way up to 40. I got the EQ set on bass boost. Now I'm gonna play some music, I'm gonna turn the lights down, I'll play some of the DJ sounds, and I'll cycle through some of the lights. Let's go. Now that's volume at 14, let's get some volume. Switch it up. <laughs>
Testing one, two, one, two. DJ Floats. Y'all know what it is. Where all the ladies at? Let's go. Let's go, pass that head. So you can have some fun on the bike if you want. Turn the volume up and down. I don't know if y'all can hear this or not, but this speaker is ridiculously loud. That was maximum volume. Now it sounds great at 20. This was 40. So now if this sounds crazy, you can imagine how two of them is gonna sound together. But instead of imagining, let's try it out. All right, so I got them both paired up. Now let's test them out. RIP to my next door neighbors. Now this is what the app looks like when it's connected. You're gonna see two speakers. As far as the pairing process, real simple. Just press the Wi-Fi button on the left speaker, press the same button on the right speaker, wait about five seconds, and they're gonna connect. Now let me show you how I was DJing behind the camera. Right from the app, all you gotta do is press the buttons. <laughs> and you can even scratch. All of that from the app. This is crazy. All right, so let's dim the lights hit the music, and get busy. Now, if you notice, both of the speaker's lights are flashing in unison. That's a nice feature. So whatever light pattern you choose, they're gonna flash simultaneously. Let's go. Max volume. You my phone on yet? Phone on yet. So. So. And my co-defendants and the coldest niggas know me. Niggas. If you know them niggas, then you know it's with them. If you know them niggas, then you know it's so. If you read the book, you would know it's clothes. No room for niggas, just goons for niggas. Got a couple goons for niggas. I'ma sleep a month before the summer done. This is it, this a one on one. I'ma be. Filthy rich before my son is one I really mean it, nigga, I really seen it Yeah, these niggas broke, pay them no attention These niggas telling for a lower sentence Illegal weapon, yeah, I know it's reckless But the beef is never ending, streets unforgiving South, so unforgiving That's just the tip of the iceberg For the right birds, get you hit for a white bird I might swerve, I might pull up in light herbs I might curve, I might come for the right price I come alive in the nightlife Yeah Yeah Check it Cause I've been grinding for a minute I make it hard to tell cause I've been shining for a minute I wish these niggas well It's time to get these niggas hell For the whole summer I was a road runner Turn rose gold slugger, stone cold stunner And yeah we fuck them hoes but they don't know nothing <laughs> I told my young to put the pain in, it. pain in it I need a couple dollars if my gang in it, in it. They smoking blunts with cocaine in it wow. This era ain't the same, is it? Uh -huh. I see the difference now uh -huh. My heart colder in the winter now uh -huh. The feds knock them hot boys and simmer down uh -huh. Them go get it, go get it now uh -huh. They got me back on the road uh -huh. And I'ma chase paper till my casket is closed, uh -huh. nigga Alright, so you heard it for yourself. On a scale of 1 to 10, 
These are maximum hype. 255 bucks for one, 510 for the set. At that price, it don't get no better than this. These sound almost as good as my professional DJ speakers that I got in the house. The floor was literally shaking, and I can guarantee you my next door neighbor's getting ready to call me. He probably think I'm having a party. He gonna wanna come over and have a drink. These are the top dogs right now. Now, if you're getting ready to have that backyard barbecue or that house party, 500 bucks is all you're gonna need. Your mind is gonna be blown when you hear these in person. And keep in mind, I was playing you know, low quality music. When I played Versace on these speakers, you can see dust shaking from the ceiling. Crazy. Now here's a little size comparison with the Sony speaker. The Sony one does look nice, but in my opinion, the LG ones look a little bit better because you got more LED activity in the middle. The app is a little bit better on the LG version too. Not to mention, you got the karaoke, you got the FM radio, you got the LG TV Connect, you got Chromecast built in. Go to the website and look at all the features for yourself. There's like about maybe 10 or 15 other features that I didn't even get into, such as um, the karaoke and turning the uh, voice down so you can hear just the music. Now look, I know this video is kind of long, my bad. But you gotta remember, we're not talking about a $30, $40 Bluetooth speaker. You're talking about 255 bucks or 510 for the set. That's a lot of money to be spending. So I try to give y'all as much information as I can and go over as many features as I possibly can. Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all ride out with some more music. I'm gonna put it in my little DJ setup and we see how it looks with the lights down low. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this.